Good morning. Let's keep in our prayers today the people that have tested positive for the COVID-19 virus, that God will heal them and restore them to full health. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who take great delight in God's commands. Their descendants shall be powerful on earth the generation of the upright will be blessed. Riches and wealth are in their houses. Their righteousness stands firm forever. A light rises in the darkness for the upright. They are generous, loving, and, right and righteous. It goes well for those who deal generosity and lend, who conduct their affairs with justice. They will never be moved. Sh forever shall the righteous be remembered. They have no fear of the evil news. With a firm heart, they trust in the Lord. With steadfast hearts, they will not fear. They will see downfall of their foes. Open-handed, they, they give to the poor. Their righteousness stands firm forever. Their might shall be exalted in glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. Happy those who meditate on wisdom and fix their gaze on knowledge. Whoever fears the Lord will do this. Whoever is practiced in the Lord will come to wisdom. She will meet him like a mother. Like a young bride, she will receive him. She will feed him with a bread of learning and give him the water of understanding to drink. He will lean upon her and not fall. He will trust in her and not be put to shame. Joy and gladness he will find, and an everlasting name he will inherit. Just a brief reflection on that scripture reading is that God calls us to serve one another through whatever it is. So help one another, and God will reward you in the end. Please respond, make us steadfast in your love, O God. Make us steadfast in your love, O God. Holy wisdom, you stand in the company of your humble and faith-filled servant, Joseph, we pray. Make us steadfast in your love, O God. Clarify the vocation of those you call to religious life and lay ministry and great discernment to all who seek you, we pray. Make us steadfast in your love, O God. Advance your church's effort to advocate for the poor and care for the earth, we pray. Make us steadfast in your love, O oh God. Open our eyes to the wonders of creation and help us to appreciate the cycle of life, death, and rebirth, present in all of nature, we pray. Make us steadfast in your love, O oh God, for the intentions we hold in the signs of our hearts, especially for those who are suffering with the COVID-19 virus. We now pray in silence. For all of our intentions, we pray, make us steadfast in your love, O God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through the intercession of St. Joseph, husband of Mary, May God strengthen us in our vocation to love in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day, everyone.